Today we're going to explore the idea that when we use our imagination, we tap in to the sources of the universe. We all have access to and contribute to a greater mind. All we need to do is ask the right questions. Take the first step. That's the only way you're ever Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you needed an answer, you needed a solution, you didn't have the resources around you, another person, um, you know, the phone to be able to get the answer that you needed, and you asked yourself the question, and from somewhere you just couldn't imagine where, you got the answer, and you knew inside of you it was the right answer. And after you moved forward, you were amazed to find out that this, this information you should have had no reference for was the exact answer you needed. Where did that come from? Was it your creative imagination? What is imagination? Some people look at imagination as being a collection of our past experiences, our perceptions, our beliefs, and we just mix them together and compile them in new ways to give us new possibilities. Other people view imagination as being the ability to turn a part of your mind on as a radio receiver that allows you to tap into a greater mind, a larger self, a, a creative intelligence that exists outside of you. Some people see imagination as being divine guidance, I'm not here to tell you one or the other. I'm here to open your own experiences and give you skills to how you can tap into more of it, no matter which one you think it is, whether it's something inside of your own head or whether it's something outside. See, the thing is, we have access to every answer that we want. My personal belief is that as we become more self-aware, we tap into an intelligence beyond ourselves. High school science teaches that if you break everything down to its simplest form, beyond atoms, protons, neutrons, it's energy, simply energy vibrating at different frequencies. Today, we have quantum physics beyond high school science, and actually there's a new field developing beyond quantum physics called zero-point field theory. And Lynn McTaggart discusses this in a book called The Field, that studies scientifically now prove that thoughts of individuals can be broadcast and received thousands of miles away. That when someone sets an intention, when they think about something, when they ask a question, it can have an effect on something or someone on the other side of the world. Scientifically proven. Now again, I'm not trying to change your mind and convince you that you know, your, your imagination is something that's divine or etheric, but what I do want to open you up to the possibility of is that you stop yourself from tapping into whatever that source is by the languaging you use for yourself. Two things that will prevent you from coming up with any type of solution are the words, I can't, and the words, I don't know because you instantly shut down the part of your brain that pulls together the resources for you to find those answers. Tony Robbins does a great example when someone, he asks a question and someone says, I don't know. His response is, I know you don't know, but if you did know, what would the answer be? Automatically, they turn that part of the brain back on which accesses the answers, whether it's internal imagination or whether it's external guidance, and the answer comes from them. Try it. I'm sure you'll be amazed with how it works. What I want to offer you at the moment is that you truly do have access to more potential than you give yourself credit for. Challenge is we've usually just got so much stuff going on inside of our heads that we can't hear the answers. So an exercise I want to share with you comes from a woman named Julia Cameron who wrote a book called The Artist's Way. And it's called A Brain Dump. I personally use this process and it helped me create a software called the Desktop Life Coach that I should have had no idea how to create. But the brain dump ended up making me receptive, getting the junk out of the way that when I asked the questions, 
I was able to hear the answers and, and find the solutions. Quite simply, the brain dump is to sit down with a notebook, you know, that standard eight and a half by 11 notebook, and for three pages, write nonstop any thought that comes into your mind. If your mind seems to go blank, keep writing going, I can't think of anything, I'm not thinking of anything, I'm not thinking. Keep writing until you've reached the third page. Then stop. Ask yourself the question that you're looking for the solution for. And then just open yourself and be receptive. My experience with this is that it always has worked when I've applied it. Do the brain dump, clear the junk out of my mind, open myself up to the reception of the idea, open myself up to the possibility that it initially may not make sense, but I have always found the answers I'm looking for when I've done this. So take a moment now, experiment with it. Do a brain dump, three pages, any thought that's in your mind. They don't have to be complete sentences. It just has to get the thoughts out of your mind. Then put yourself in a very receptive state of mind, ask the question, and be open to receive the answer. I look forward to hearing what your results are in trying this. I know it's a little bit out there compared to some of the other things that we've talked about. And for me, it has worked every time. And I believe if you practice it, you'll get the same results. I look forward to seeing you soon.